What the f- What the hell? Here. All yours. What's so good in you? Seriously? Johnny, did you see what happened? Beep, beep, it feels off here. You don't say. Seriously? It's time it's time for an angry rant. Screw it. Let me show you let me show you about the the sixteenth time I was pulled out of the immersion of the game. Check it out. I was trying different paths. I was going in this freaking seedy area. I'm talking with this guy and I thought, okay, well, you know, first off, I'm gonna beat the hell out of him because he's a creep, he's an asshole, and I'm gonna, you know, just get the information. And that actually worked pretty well, it worked fine. You got the first person, I'm like, whoa, this is cool. Like, I actually feel like he's scared of me and I knocked this dude out. And then I'm like, okay, but wait, this is, that was really awesome, but you know, and they said that you could do these things in multiple paths. So I was like, okay, uh, let me try a different path. Let me fucking reload the game here and let me uh, load and I'm going to be diplomatic and I'm not going to hit him. I'm not going to, as much as I want to hit him, I'm not going to hit him, right? And I'm just going to talk to the guy and then, you know, see how it goes and then maybe rob his ass afterwards or then maybe kill him afterwards, you know, and, and, and take his stuff. And, uh, you know, once again, this game's unfinished, terrible, ugly state of missing features and broken features uh, showed its ugly head. Check it out. Need air. I'll be outside. Okay. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. city would be... Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. Fuck you! The city would be better off without you. You piece of Need something else? Uh. What the? F what the fuck? Is it fucking? <laughs> is it fucking disappeared? What the fuck? I was gonna loot his body. What the shit, dude? Where? Where did? Oh, what the? What? Who the fuck is the cop? The fucking cop just fucking spawned in out of fucking nowhere. It did. Is there? A, what? Is there a fucking door? The fuck did the cop come from? I'm a fucking wife, you. I got two fucking star now. Cause I had to fucking kill a cop because he fucking spawned in and the fuck is did he come through here? No, this is a fucking bathroom. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? This fuck the fucking cop spawns. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Put the guy here. Another one. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the? Oh my god! This game. There's what the fuck? Who the fuck is shooting me? They're not coming through this fucking door, and there's no fucking way to get in anywhere. Cop AI my ass. Every fucking NPC has a goddamn fucking cycle or whatever. There's like a fucking daily routine and shit. My fucking ass. The straight up lie. See, and it says here, Cyberpunk has a wanted system and corrupted police. This was back in 2019. CD Projekt Re Revet reveals that they have a wanted system with corrupt police as well as powerful NPCs that can come after the player character. Have I, have you guys ever had a powerful NPC that can come after you? Some kind of mercenary? Have you guys have the wanted system work for you? The UI coordinator, Avalyn Liu, re uh, revealed the game. I have a wanted system to, and uh, players are terrorized. You're blatantly corrupt. So the police system 
is blatantly corrupt and can take bribes. At what point could I have offered a bribe to that that officer? Are you serious? Uh, speaking uh, reveal that the police force is up for hire, that laws exist to take bribes from corporations. The corporation could bribe a government and pass a law um, and a corrupt police. Uh, let's see. A city of people trying to constantly get one up on each other is not a place where you want to trust the government. Police force isn't the only group that may come after the character. Zarkin is working on a gameplay system where NPCs will n be not very nice to players if they start killing their m many people, which I don't know about you, but like, I, I you know, you whip a gun out and they don't move. They don't even run away. Like everybody runs away. Once you start firing, they run away. Or if you start punching people, everybody fucking runs. I've actually never had anybody come up to me and be like, oh, I'm a citizen. You're under arrest. It's never fucking happened to me, guys. So honestly, there's uh, they clearly cut a lot of content. They'll come. The police in the game is completely fucked. They will just spawn like f down the street from you, you know, and start shooting immediately. And they're fucking pixel perfect. I have been shot out of a fucking moving car uh, with pixel perfect accuracy. It, it's <laughs> it's ridiculous because uh, car uh, chases essentially are non-existent because like all you have to do is just move a few blocks away and then they're done. And even in this instance, like. After the cops are firing at me and teleporting into my fucking area, then they just like magically give up and the whole thing goes back to normal. You saw, like I lost my fucking star rating. So the police are literally the dumbest thing ever in Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, I, I want them to, I don't know what they're doing, that multiplayer thing they talked about. No, don't ever talk about that again until you obviously fix the bugs, fix the glitches, and then start fixing some of the missing features, like giving the police uh, actual fucking AI, giving uh, them an actual system that works like Grand Theft Auto, fucking putting in the mercenaries, putting in some of these other systems that you, uh, at least not having them spawn out of fucking nowhere, all right? Accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this is, it's getting ridiculous now, guys. And I'm a little behind on my review because, you know, I just, I was having so many problems with the game at one point. I just put down the controller and I was like, you know, I, I'm not good. I got, and then real life happened. And I had to spend a, a day and then I, and then I just wanted to take a break and play a board game with friends. And, you know, so I spent Sunday doing that and now I'm back and I'm running into all different kinds of problems. We're, we're running into like, you know, graphical glitches and, and just God damn it. I'm so fucking sick and tired of fucking the goddamn bugs in this game. Pulling me out of the fucking game. Fucking reload. I wish this fucking load time would take fucking longer if it meant that it would load all the goddamn assets correctly. What the hell? Dude, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? There's a bullet? I'm a floating bullet and I got. Okay, I would have. What the fuck? And the fucking car textures. Are you fucking serious now? Oh my god. Like, what the fuck? This. <sighs> And then the fucking thing freezes. Okay, so and he, what? What is this? What is this low? Look at this low res cowboy. Look at that. The fucking pop in. Oh my god. God damn it. What the fuck? You know the textures not loading, and then me whipping out my guns, and and me whipping out no gun whatsoever. Um, you know, I don't know, man. S sometimes I think the update kind of made things worse, at least for me. Uh, I know they made them better on the consoles, and the consoles are working, but I don't want to get into this argument with a thousand people on the internet. Well, mine works completely fine, and I'm having no problems whatsoever. Well, good for you! Good for you! 
But some of us are finding this shit ridiculous. Some of us are finding, you know, the, the, the ones that are blocking our progress or just ruining the immersion of the game. I'm getting so involved in the story and I'm getting like the, the, the theme and then something fucking smacks me in the face like this. And it completely pulls you out of the experience. I never thought I'd be doing an angry rant on the state of cyberpunk, but it has been multiple days now and multiple times where, uh, you know, Everything will come to a screeching halt or I'll be pulled out of the game because of some stupid fucking unfinished piece of shit system or a, a system that's that's broken. And they need to obviously fix the game. They said they're sorry. They said they can get refunds, and that's great. But it should have never fucking happened in the first place. And it makes me very disappointed from a company like CD Projekt Red. And yes, I'm still working on the review. And and no, I, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I got fucking depressed as I'm playing the game. And I like didn't wanna fucking play it. I wanted to try to wait until more patches come out, but then you read their fucking thing. There's a there's patch number one in fucking January because everybody has to go on vacation. You fucking release the game, and then everybody goes on vacation. You don't expect it. You crunch your employees, and then you don't expect your employees to stay there during Christmas. There better be no fucking employees from CD Projekt Red having to, to grind through Christmas to get all these bugs fixed. That would be fucking wrong. So there's a patch number one in January, and then there's going to be a patch number two in February so I thought maybe if I take my time with a review and I usually take like a week or two or three for these bigger games that, that maybe the game will be great by the end and I could give you know a more complete rating no I, I'm just gonna have to push through now in the state and I think one of my states was completely corrupted I could not move on uh, so then I had to restart so I'm restarting a bunch of times and I'm, plus I'm already restarting because I'm trying the different live paths which kind of are turning out to be not all that <laughs> different as as i was led to believe that they would be uh but we'll see we'll see by the end of the game and all that guys uh this is just an angry rant and i just wanted to not only share my experiences uh joe uh jacob alex who are playing on the last gen consoles who are playing on the ps4 who are playing on the xbox uh one can share similar stories i mean we've seen that the game completely chug and then like fucking uh crash uh jacob told me that he's <laughs> he would fire and you could basically see a bullet it would just freeze and then like this and that um, and but then the that the latest update did make it somewhat more playable uh so they're actually getting through the game and I don't know, guys. I'm just fucking saddened. And I've been going through it really slow, hoping that more patches would come out. But I guess I just got to power through the rest of it. And I know, yeah, it's that. Well, I don't have any time with Joe. You're being unfair to the game. And then uh, half of the fucking audience is going to fucking uh, hang me for not being as angry as I should be. And then another half of the audience is going to hang me for, for even saying anything bad about CD Projekt Red and all this stuff. No, this is fucking unacceptable. It's unacceptable. See... Cyberpunk came out in a state that was unacceptable on last gen and even on current gen, even on PC. I am not playing on a last gen system. I have a very good fucking PC rig and I'm running into the shit that's pulling me out of the game and it's it's just no, right? No, okay? No! Bad CD Projekt Red. Bad! What is going on? Who's making that noise? What? Oh no! It's rave time! Oh no! I just, I just get so to the hard. elevator! I don't know what to do! You fixed it. I think I fixed it. I just gotta kill him. I just gotta kill him. I just gotta you kill him. It. Hey! Got a security <laughs> Sweet. Wanted to collect on them pre-orders, the, the breaking sales records, breaking Steam records, breaking fucking uh, records. You've already made all your money back, by the way, on digital sales only. So now, from here on out, it's profit only. So from here on out, you fucking fix this game and put some of those features back in. And as a freebie, put some of the features back in that you had to pull out. I don't care. Like the fucking, you know, an actual cop system, an actual mercenary NPCs. Make the NPCs act a little better as they do in Grand 
Grand Theft Auto, uh, you know, put some of these these systems back in and just, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I could see cut content, especially in the corpo uh, path. Like it just like you're going on this big heist kind of thing and then boom, it just ends. And then you'd fucking never see from that guy again that went to put you on the mission and you can't even go against Ab Abernathy or whatever her name is, uh, you know, because, oh, that's shoots impossible to get to. And then you go on a more impossible mission right after that. They just cut it off. No, I, I it feels it feels rushed. It feels like they pushed this out and this wasn't ready. What happened to releasing the game? when it was ready clearly the game was not released when it was ready and now i have to factor all this into the review and it sucks because and then people are yelling at me well oh, you're not being hard enough but as i actually like the game there are great fucking moments in this game where i'm fully immersed and i'm in the night city and they're and, and they're long dialogue sections and i'm fucking immersed and i like some of the combat yes it's fucking janky and yes it's broken but i like some of it and it's just it's it's crazy and i don't i i, I guess guys gotta finish through i just gotta keep pushing through the game guys um i just wanted to put my thoughts out there and share some of the experiences with me th uh, that i've been having um l luckily the latest patch has kind of fixed some of the gamer breaking ones and stuff like that i haven't run into one where i couldn't progress like I did with the car that suddenly flipped and and I can't get in the car that I need to get in the car so there's freak accidents that happen all the time but the people are falling through the world people are you know you know doing all this other stuff and so if we do not give Bethesda a pass for Fallout 76 in the state that shit came out in we do not give CD Projekt Red a fucking pass for the state that this is coming out in um and yeah Guys, that's the fucking angry rant. Uh, fix the fucking cops in Night City immediately. I mean, that's that's the thing that I'm running into the most when I'm trying to role play. I'm I go walk the streets. I try to role play, and you have to have known that people were gonna do stuff like that. Uh, but oh, I guess we'll just stay on the main path, do fucking nothing else, and and you know see how it goes. But like I said, I. I'm enjoying some of the story. I just think that there's a lot of problems with the game. And honestly, they deserve to be yelled at. They deserve an angry rant. And I didn't want to do it, but I have to because uh, this is and, – and it's even more depressing. It's even more sad when a company that I trust with a company that I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm like so hyped about the game and, and thinking that they would do it right this time around because they've gone through rocky, rocky launches before with Witcher. They knew better. They fucking knew better. And they did it anyway. So that's it.